Welcome to the kitchen at the Killingly Public Library. Today we're going to focus on a nice comfort food that everyone can enjoy. And this recipe is suitable for all ages. Um, and we're going to make macaroni and cheese. We're going to start by taking some butter and putting it in a 13 by 9 baking pan. You can cut the recipe down to an eight by eight if you'd like. So just have everything if you'd want. And I did start by washing my hands at the sink before um, proceeding. So I'm just gonna use a half a stick of butter and I'm just gonna cut it up a little bit um, in, in the pan so that it will melt um, a little faster. If you're in a hurry. If you're not in a hurry, you can just throw the whole stick in the way it is. And I'm going to take my 13 by 9 and just pop it in the oven and set your oven to 350 degrees. And while it's preheating, it can melt the butter. And I do have the oven on already. We'll just wait for that butter to melt. It's been about a minute now, so we're gonna check on our butter and take it out of the oven if it's melted. Oh yes, we've got some nice melty butter there. And just kind of swirl it around in our pan. There we go. Now you're going to take a pound of uncooked pasta right out of the box. And you can use any kind of pasta you want. I just happen to have some elbows and take a spoon and stir the pasta to coat it with the melted butter. Get that all good and covered. Seems like it's nice and coated with the butter and then just kind of spread it out evenly in your pan. And if you we're using an 8x8 pan. You would just use half the box of macaroni and cheese instead of uh, half the box of pasta instead of the entire box for your macaroni and cheese. Okay, and then we are going to take about a teaspoon of salt. I did not bring any measuring spoons in, so this is going to be by eye. It's about a teaspoon of salt and just sprinkle it over your pasta. One thing, you will never stir the, this pan again. You stirred the pasta to coat it with butter and that is all the stirring you will do. Now I'm gonna take um, anywhere from a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of um, ground black pepper, whatever you prefer, and just sprinkle it on the top. And then one and a half pounds of shredded cheese. I like the extra sharp. Um, maybe you're not a sharp cheese person. Maybe you would like more of a mild cheddar. Um, we're using cheddar. And then you're just gonna evenly cover your pasta with the cheese. It smells so good already. I can't wait to smell it cooking. My kids love macaroni and cheese, and so does my husband. I guess it's just one of those foods everybody wants to have, especially when you're kind of feeling down. It's a good pick-me-up kind of meal. Whoops. You want to keep your cheese in the pan and not make a mess like I do. And then you're just going to take uh, five cups of milk and pour it over. My measuring cup only holds four, so I'm going to have to remeasure after. But just pour it over your cheese like so. Just kind of fill the pan up. And I need just another cup because I was I only had four. Okay. And this is just whole milk. If you prefer something else, you can could use that. I mean, you could even use half and half if you wanted to go very expensive. It doesn't really matter. Whole milk is fine. And if you can see, the pasta's all covered. Everything's good. I am going to use my mitts because remember the pan was in the oven um, when we were preheating. And now I'm just gonna pop it in the oven 
at 350 degrees. And that will bake for one hour. And when it is done, it will be all bubbly and browned on the top and all cheesy and gooey inside. All right, so it's been one hour at 350 degrees. The macaroni and cheese is ready to come out of the oven. And oh boy, does it smell good. There we go. And this was orange cheese, so it's going to look a little darker than if you used a white cheese. And I'm just going to take and turn off my oven. And now I'm going to take a spoon and put a little bit on some plates and we can have uh, a little taste test for you little bit so you can see how it looks. That's really hot. Don't burn yourselves. There we go. A fork for each of my friends. Thank you, Kim. This mm -hmm. smells amazing. Okay, Drew, I think this is going to be pretty hot, but it looks good. Blow on it first. It smells good. Plus, it smells really good. It looks cheesy. It's really hot. Be careful. I love mac and cheese. Mm. I dig mm -hmm. it. I dig it. I'm just going to eat this whole thing. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are eating, but this is lunch for me. That was really good. I'm going to have to have another bite. Oh, mm-hmm. Two thumbs up. It's got my approval. There you have it. Mac and cheese. Easy peasy mac and cheesy.